Good morning. Welcome to Brittany on the Bluff, brought to you each weekday by our fine sponsors, Today's Computers, Whitworth's Gift Chest Jewelers, Key Drugs, and First Community Bank in Poplar Bluff. Today we're going to be talking about the Poplar Bluff High School Academic Assistance Group. They've got a big fundraiser coming up, something uh, kind of fun, guys. You'll, you're going to want to know about this because you're going to want to participate in it. And hopefully we can get some details from uh, our guest about what the the Academic Assistance Group is all about. It's a really cool organization. If you're not familiar with them, please stay tuned and and listen to what we've got to say about this group because it's very, very cool what they do here in our community. Joining us in the studio, we have the president of the uh, Poplar Bluff Academic Assistance Group. That's a mouthful, Donna. Yes, it is. (laughs) Donna Lassiter in the studio with us this morning. How you doing? Good. Thank you. I'm so glad you could make it. It's kind of a last-minute invitation. I know it was kind of tough on you to get get it together to get here, but I should do appreciate it because thank you this really is a very interesting group and it's something that uh, uh, you know I've lived in several communities over the years I had never really heard of this an yeah. academic assistance group yes now it is it has been established at the high school for 25 a long years time, yeah so we are new yeah. to uh, not not new to the school um, it is also known as AAG so A-A-G. sometimes it's easier for us just to say AAG. Maybe I should try that because um, it's a mouthful yeah. otherwise. <laughs> Although most people do not know what it means, and, but that's that's kind of what we go by. But it has been on campus for over 25 years. So what is the Academic Assistance Group? Um, it is a group of parents as well as counselors from the high school and also a teacher representative from the high school. Uh-huh. And we have two roles that we play. Uh, the first role is... Uh, we give the academic letter banquet every year. And this past year, we had 188 students qualify to get an academic letter. And a lot of people are familiar with academic letters or a sports letter. I know they had the Letterman banquet recently for football. Uh-huh. And the different, the, uh, the soccer had their uh, academic letter or their sports letter. So this is an academic letter. And we had 188 students wow. uh, this past year. That that's qualified. Amazing. Yes, it is. It's and basically to recognize those students that excel in, in particular subjects and that sort of thing, right? Yes. They have okay. a basic uh, criteria they have to meet every year, <laughs> and uh, they can qualify every year of their four years. Sometimes it's just one year, sometimes all four. And uh, so they, have a, they get their letter or their chevron as well as dinner for them and their families. Uh, oh, nice. So it was a large group. <laughs> I would think so. Very With that large many group. students, you bring yes. in their families too. Yes, but it is very, very well done, and it's it's just a way to recognize them. And that's so cool, because you know everybody knows about sports letters. Yes. I mean, you know, you know the football players and their jackets right. and all that kind of thing, uh-huh. but. Sh- but not every school has the, maybe it's the finances, the wherewithal, whatever, uh, yes. to necessarily be able to recognize your your students that excel in their academics. Yes, it, it, it does. That's, pro- that's one of the roles that the group has established. And that is our, our only fundraiser that we're going to speak about, the trivia night, is our only fundraiser. Now, it is open for donations, the okay. committee itself. It sure. is. Um, it is a group that is known as a uh, the 501c3 organization. So donations can be made okay. to the group. And they but are tax are, deductible. Yes, so. they are. Uh, but the trivia night is our big night. And with it being academic, the trivia is not Ex- really trivia. It's, <laughs> uh, it's some big questions and and knowledgeable things to do, Whoa. but not to dissuade people. But there are some fun questions too. <laughs> Probably not quite as many fun ones. But uh, that's okay. Uh, yes, but yeah, it, this it, is one of those nights where if you're if you, you if you're one of those people that you know kind of vision yourself as being smarter than most people around you. <laughs> yes, and, come prove it. <laughs> and from lots that's of different uh, topics. Yeah. We have eight different topics that we go over, so it's it's fun to see the different groups and where they are more knowledgeable than the others. Absolutely. So it is fun. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about uh, Trivia Night here in just a minute, but okay. um, I'd like to continue this discussion about the, the Academic Assistance Group itself. Uh, as far as the letter banquet goes, that's not the only... Um, Gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's not all that you guys do. No, it is not. We also do, uh, 
each the fall semester and the spring semester, we offer many grants is what we call them. And this is to supplement the teachers and the classrooms. And they are able to apply just as if you would apply for a grant at any other form. Uh -huh. And they apply and our committee goes over them to try to supplement their classroom, the students. Um, there are a lot of fun things that can go on through the mini grants and a lot of just basic classroom education products. Um, even though our schools continue to grow, the budgets continue to get um, streamlined sure. and they it's not get <laughs> yes days, and so, so uh, sometimes just uh, it could be something small or it could be something big and this this fall we've just uh, we awarded four mini scholarships just this year uh -huh. this fall semester and one of them we have a new robotics team at our school we do yes I and didn't know that yes they just got started and in order to compete uh, with the other area schools who have had them for some time, they needed different, uh, not only when they compete, you have to compete with certain course, coursework and you have to compete with certain timers, uh -huh. things like that. So that was one of the ones that we did this Helped year. Helped to supply some of yes. those things that they needed to, in order to get the team going. To get the team going. Very and it is cool. a very good, and the teachers apply, and they have to apply just as you would any other kind of grant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so that gives the people who are on the committee a chance to um, learn more about all the different aspects there. One of the other ones that we did this year is the graduation center. Uh -huh. And uh, it is a well-established graduation center. It certainly is, uh, yeah. Some years in the past, the students who went there were not able to have books to take home. They had books just within their classroom. Sure. And it changed a little bit this year with um, our schools going to computers. But each year now, we do provide certain books for the graduation students to take home with them to have at their resource. Um, which just helps them to understand the school really still wants them to be there. Right. You know, a lot of right. times the graduation center are kids who may be at risk of not graduating. And so we want to support them Absolutely. as well. Very um, cool. So that's one of the second ones that we did this year, just here in the fall. Um, and one of the other is our math. Uh, math has become a push in the last few years. Uh -huh. It's the STEM. It's what the science and and the math Science, and the, technology, engineering, and math. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, just a, a couple of the math teachers needed some extra curriculum, some extra visuals to go with some of the things that are going on in their classroom. Very cool. Very um, cool. Yes, there are some now, didn't really you guys also help fund uh, the trip that some of our students take down to Alabama to the yes. coast to do to the... To the Dolphin Island. Yeah. Yes, I do that. And, and that uh, is such a neat, neat project. I've uh, Some of my kids at Boys and Girls Club oh, good. have gone on that trip, and they come oh, back absolutely thrilled. Oh, yes. It's and, such a neat trip for them. And they, uh, we do not pay the full way, but most of the way um, so that the kids do work to be able to go, uh -huh. not only with uh, that trip, but uh, to supplement the band whenever they have won their awards to go to Florida. Um, so not only for the fun things, but they have to work a little too. Well, sure. Um, and they have helped um, in the software for Spanish and math classes. Um, there is another one that goes to the... Um, Holocaust Museum and the Freedom Riders tour oh, in the wow. summer and so it, it's a very diverse grant money available uh -huh. to the teachers. Um, you don't put a lot of stipulations on it. No. It, it has to be something that's academic related. Yes. Uh, and it has to be what else? What are the what are the criteria um, it, that they have to meet for that? And also the number of students that it will help affect. Okay. And how it will help them not only just today if the grant is given to them today or to their teacher for that classroom, but how it furthers them as a student into their other classroom, into their other walk of life when they do leave school. And see, I just think this is so cool because you, I don't think there's anybody that would deny. That especially in today's world, budgets at schools have gotten pretty tight. Yes. Um, we know that schools across the nation have had to drop art programs yes. and mu music programs and, mm -hmm. 
you know, things like that, that they felt like they could not afford to continue anymore. Right. Um, but here we've got this group here in Poplar Bluff that says, uh-uh, we're not going to let that happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll raise some money and we'll help these teachers mm-hmm. uh, with these things that don't necessarily fit in their budget. Right. And sometimes things arise, they have to do their budget so far ahead. Right. And right. then it comes to something going on. Um, An opportunity presents yes. itself or whatever. Uh, whether yeah. it was the arts program, uh, the more the liberal arts, they were able to go to last year to a play that um, in St. Louis, and that made that available to be able to go and those students to be a part of something they couldn't have been also. Right. I mean, there's just so mm-hmm. much money a parent can put out there for e- per student or their child, and there's just so much money that students can raise. I mean, everybody... You can raising only sell, money from <laughs> only their, sell so many things yes. of popcorn or candy yes. or whatever. That's right. so. And your neighbors are yeah. only going to support so far. They get and hit so, pretty hard, don't yes. they? <laughs> and so with this and with our, our fundraiser, we're able to do the fun side and serious, too, in their yeah. education. Just um, giving some students mm-hmm. the opportunity to expand their horizons yes. a little bit. And yes. I'm a firm believer in doing that because mm-hmm. you never know the, like just for example the trip to the play mm-hmm. you never know which of those students that were in that group were so inspired by that that they may be on that stage someday oh, yes. you yes. don't know and they have to start right here but in Papa Bluff they, yeah. this is where we start you don't know you'll love something like that till mm-hmm. you've experienced it though yes you know and it's it, it breaks my heart to think that we have young people in our community that simply because of economics Mm -hmm. may not ever have the opportunity to try these things. Right, and I admire the teachers who they work so hard in the classroom and they see these other opportunities or things that they need to help their students Mm -hmm. because they do care. And so they will take time to to fill out the paperwork and submit it to our committee and to take that time away from their classroom Mm -hmm. in order to better their students. And because all of it is student-oriented, all of the the mini-grants are student-oriented. That's kind of the whole purpose Mm -hmm. of the academic assistance Mm -hmm. group. It's got to be for the kids. Right, and the teachers, I admire them because they uh, are there all day trying to to make our kids better for our community. And that's the thing. They're our future leaders, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. We want them to be as Mm well-rounded and experienced as possible in life yes you know uh, you just want them to be able to try a little bit of everything oh yes and that way they discover where their passions lie and where they're because i'm one of those people you know we were talking before the show even started i i think i've got a couple of pretty cool jobs you know <laughs> yes. i'm a big believer in doing something that you have a passion for that you love doing so that when you go to work every day you're not dreading it. You and know? it shows when you love your job, when you, know, you have yeah, that passion. Exactly. It really does show. And that's kind of like my dream for all of our young people in oh, our community yeah. is that they find that thing, that area that, that really lights them up. Mm-hmm. And so that they can pursue that. Because in my opinion, it really doesn't even matter what it is. Yes. If they're passionate about it, then they've got a bright future. Well, and there are so many jobs out there that are just very interesting mm-hmm. even to people who cannot maybe do the job but they find it interesting that other people can yeah. and we have a lot of basic jobs that are available and you have to have the skills to do that exactly so, it's so you're trying to meet kind of both needs you're mm-hmm. trying to meet those the skill thing where you're trying to help young people develop skills mm-hmm. in different areas and that sort of thing but you're also kind of helping them like I said earlier, experience things, mm-hmm. experience yes. something new, try something new that they may find is really what they want to do with their oh, lives. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think that's pretty cool. And like I say, I've lived in a lot of communities. Mm-hmm. I've never really known of an organization like this that they're, in t- they're you know, basically your complete intent with this is to help teachers provide yes. more for our kids yes. and I, there i'm not familiar with other school districts and they may have something there, yeah I, I don't not, know i've never not, seen one i am not familiar one. with yeah. it but i know we have had very committed volunteers uh-huh. uh, the committee is made up of volunteers uh, parents who have students in the classroom 
and a teacher representative and then the counselor from the high school. So it is through the high school counseling center, sure. but it, it is all volunteers and the, the parents who volunteer, they're at work all day, then they come and serve mm -hmm. and, because they want uh, our students to do well and, and be a part of Poplar Bluff. Well, I can say I really admire the fact that because of what you guys are doing, that there are a lot of kids that may have never had the chance to do some of these things that will get the chance. Yes. They'll get to experience some oh, new yes. things. They'll get to learn uh, new skill sets and that sort of a thing. And and that never hurts a person. No. <laughs> it never hurts somebody to be more well-rounded. And well -rounded, then they can be on the trivia know? night. As they, yeah. We do have a uh, student group that usually participates. Oh, yeah? Yes. And so they can, <laughs> as they learn, they can come to trivia night. Do they win? Do they usually I, win? Two years ago, the student uh, Ooh, the student group did win. That's awesome. Because we do have a, um academic team that competes with other schools and they did win two oh, years that's ago. Awesome. <laughs> Showing yes. off their knowledge. Yes, huh? they did. <laughs> How cool is that? Well like you said the this big fundraiser, Trivia Night. Yes. Um you're gonna take this money after after the event. Mm -hmm. You're gonna support all these things we've been talking about, helping teachers provide uh, equipment or or trips or new experiences or resources or whatever they need to do a better job for our kids, uh, you're going to use this money that's raised with Trivia Night to do those things. Yes, we only have two things that we that the money goes toward, the academic banquet and their letters because uh -huh. we have to buy the actual letters sure. that they get. And if they have a letterman's jacket, then they could wear that. And then the, the grants. Uh, the two semester for the grant. So that's the only two things that the money goes toward. And those are both great causes. Right. That's the only two things. So you can come participate in the trivia night, have a, have a great time, have yes. some fun. Yes. Show off your knowledge, that yes. sort of thing. <laughs> and at the very same time, you're going to send kids on trips. Mm -hmm. You're going to provide books for students. You're going to provide uh, all this really cool, neat stuff that our students need just by playing trivia. Yes. <laughs> How cool is that? It is. It's a fun night, and you do learn. Um, if you don't know the answer, your team, um, someone else on the team may know well, the answer. Well, that's kind of the so point of the learn. team thing you yes. want to pick out. Maybe somebody that's really, really knowledgeable in this topic and somebody that's great on this subject, and you kind of put together this winning team yes. by uh, utilizing everybody on the team's knowledge. Right. So. And I'm not on an academic team. I'm not on a trivia team. But I've always picked out people who I might want to be on it. And uh -huh. I'll just be the spokesperson. There I'll you just go. kind of holler out the answer. And <laughs> hey, that's, yes. a, that's an important part right. of the team, I will too. Be the <laughs> so how many people do we need to get together for our teams? Okay. Our, your team can co uh, be up to six people. Okay. And so, so be looking around, guys. Yes. Check if out you everybody just have at four work of your smartest friends, then that's fine. But you can yeah. have up to six people per team. Okay. Four to six. Yes. About that. Uh, and uh, this is going to be taking place in January. Yes. January the 23rd. It's a Friday it's night. It's a Friday night. Perfect. The doors open at 6 o'clock. Okay. And trivia begins at 6.30. And it is held at the 5th and 6th grade center okay. out, off of Oak Grove Road. Uh, there in that facility, the open area when you first come in at the 5th and 6th grade center. Well, just give us kind of a, a general idea of if we get our team together and we show up that night, what can we expect? Well, <clears throat> the tables are set up in the round. Okay. And then we have uh, a PowerPoint uh, our questions. Okay. And Larry Kimbrough, who was our previous president and served on the board, I believe, six years, six or seven years. He had uh, two students, two of his... Um, Children were students, uh -huh. and he served in that capacity. And our committee has made the trivia questions. We finished that up last night. And so Larry will be getting the the questions in order for us. And Beth Fox Godwin will be our MC. Okay. And uh, each, each team has their round, and we have a table of judges. And um, they go through. They have sheets that they have to account. Okay. answer their questions and they have a certain time limit that do that and in between each category the serious categories we have speed rounds which are fun kind of like the family feud where you have two people come off off a, oh, a team fun. and then they have to do the speed round How cool. and it is funny trivia just silly stuff that has to come off 
off oh, the top of their great. head. So there's some speed rounds in there, and you win prizes. We have food and snacks and prizes throughout the evening. Oh, really? Okay. So through, through the lightning rounds? That's through the whole the... evening, yes. Oh, there's, very cool. Uh, and the, they're, uh, the winning team, we have a sword. It's a large sword that is there is the traveling trophy. Okay. And um, I, I'm not sure of the sim- symbolism I of the large to, I was sword, just sword ask but you it's that. a big thing. Oh. Um, and it's the really sword cool. of knowledge. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I love go it. That's that. what we're going to be. We'll go That's with it. that. That's what it is. <laughs> um, and so that will be presented to the winner. Uh, right now, it's at the Ozark. Um, they changed their name. The Federal Union, uh-huh. Ozark Federal Ozark, Union. Ozark Federal uh, Credit Union. Yes, oh. that's where it is uh-huh. uh, right now. They his, that team won last year. They had several teachers from the high school on their team. Oh, smart! And they won <laughs> last year. And Ooh, now so that's then, an idea. Is there ever a team of just teachers? Oh yes. Okay. Uh-huh. And also in the past, we've had teachers from the college who have. They recently had a trivia night uh, among their teachers, uh-huh, they, uh, uh-huh. t- people there on campus. And so it's a very right. diverse group. We've had all different types of people who come. Basically, you just need to show up that night expecting to have a great time. Yes. Uh, win or lose, eh, who cares? Right. <laughs> I mean, I'll, if, unless you want that sort of knowledge yes. <laughs> at your office or wherever, uh, you know, who cares if you win or lose, you're just going to have a great time, yes. enjoy some food, some drinks. Uh, and, and help support our, our students, which, again, anytime you can do that, in my opinion, that's a winning evening. Yes, it is. When you and can it have is, fun um, and help somebody, that's they, great. Uh, and you can sign up ahead of time. Uh, we do have brochures available at different places, okay. or I have a number and things that you can contact okay. the counselor and go ahead and get signed up if you want. Excellent. Um, uh, if you've got some extra brochures, we can put some right out here yes, in the foyer. Yes, be glad to. Yes. So if somebody's interested in finding out more about the event, yes. uh, just stop by our station here at 1015 West Pine Street. We'll have them out in the foyer in one of the brochure holders. Grab one of those. You've got your contact information right yes. there in front of you that way. You don't have to try to write it down if you're driving right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, this is all going to be taking place on Friday, January 23rd at the 5th and 6th Grade Center here in Poplar Bluff. Again, doors are open at 6. Yes. Trivia starts at 6.30. Um, sell us on the food. <laughs> is it, oh, well, the food has something? to be something that you can uh, have while you're doing trivia. Right. Maybe so we, finger food We kind of usually thing. have, uh, last year was the first year that we had done pizza. Oh, and it was very successful because you could just take your pizza sure. to your table and your there box. You and then we have snacks through the evening um, and soft drinks and water, uh, fruit, okay. you know, all the, the fun sugary things, uh, mainly just to keep it rolling. So uh-huh. it's not a dinner where we would sit and eat dinner, right. but things right. that you can take back to your table in between your, your rounds your categories um, so the you would have plenty of food uh, but just stuff that you can um, eat and talk and sure and get Keep your playing at the same yes, time that's right you know yes. I'm just picture and trying to get that team together that everybody has that one person in their office or uh, you know somebody they work with or go to church with or something like that that um, <laughs> I'm trying to say this diplomatically that wants to think they know it all kind oh, yes. of deal. Uh, and they're so they're very well team. read. Yeah, and they may have had team. Yes, a wonderful you teacher want. in high school <laughs> who who taught them and the categories we have eight categories. Yeah, tell us the uh, categories. Of things. So if you have one person that's stronger in one then right, they can right, help them. Right. And usually there are ten to twelve questions per category. And we have one of the uh, the, the eight categories are animals. Science and technology, history and government, arts and entertainment, geography, year in review, food, and sports. Well, that's a that's a good variety of topics. Oh, yes. Huh. And I could see some of those categories would be more fun kind of questions, yes. like animals. I always love animal oh, questions. Yes. I don't always know the answers, but I love the questions because I learned something new. Oh, yes. That's another Mm -hmm. thing with trivia nights. You may go in thinking you know it all, but I promise when you leave, you're going to know something new. Yes. You Uh, learned something that evening. The committee, some of the questions that I saw last night, I think I'll have to look those up to find the answer. Yeah, they've got to be challenging or else everybody would get them all right. Right. And it is an academic trivia night. (laughs) 
She keeps <sighs> emphasizing that. Yeah. Have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> but we do have fun questions, though. There are a few there that will, uh, I think people will laugh before they holler out the answer. Um, so it's kind of an interesting night it's fun it should be a lot of fun and again it's all for the kids yes so uh sign your teams up how much is uh, does it cost to enter a team yes. we haven't talked about that yes it does it's 150 dollars. okay so if you have a, a sponsor or if there are six of you then you just divide the cost between the six of you to make a contribution of 150 dollars yeah. of course if you're getting a team together at work you can always talk to the boss yes See if he might be willing to sponsor your team. Who knows? Right, he because might. you do have to have a team name, and so it could be the company or it could be a fun team name. Uh -huh. um, and as I said, it is a uh, the organization is a nonprofit 501c3 organization. So the $150 is helping the students and the teachers in the classrooms, uh, but it is if they use it for any of their tax purposes, that's fine too. You know, for uh -huh. their uh -huh. organization themselves. Um, but um, if you divide the cost between your six players, if you're individuals who want to get six people together. So you, you had mentioned that this is one of a couple of fundraisers that you do each year. This is the only oh, one. Oh, this is the only one. Oh, yes. I must have misunderstood. Yes. I do apologize. So yes. this is really all the success of all these different things we've been talking about kind of lies on this. Yes, this is our only one. This has to be a success. Yes in order for the academic assistance group to do all these cool things that we've been talking about. Yes. So please mm -hmm. get those teams together. Do you have like a maximum number of teams that you oh, can no. take? Oh, no. We, we would take, take as, as many. many. As, oh, you'll yes. You'll fit them in there somewhere. Oh, huh? yes. <laughs> and, and it's more, it's, it's a lot of fun to have a lot of teams. Sure. Because absolutely. the questions and one team may win the animals round, but then a different team wins the arts and entertainment. And so... Every round, you have different pe different teams who may win. So then when it comes down to the speed rounds, and then we do have a tiebreaker. It's a Missouri uh, ah, Missouri ha, ha. question for tiebreaker. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. So they may need to brush up on their Missouri history and knowledge of Missouri itself. You know that, that, that website that has, like, Missouri's flower, Missouri's yes. this, Missouri's that. <laughs> da, da. Yeah, you need uh -huh. to check those out. Yes, because that is the tie. Memorize all that stuff just mm -hmm. in case. Yeah. You happen to tie for particularly for first. Oh yes. You want that sword? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, you want to take that, take that back to the office or back to your Sunday school room or uh -huh. wherever you folks are from. <laughs> so uh, brush up on that stuff. And again, the categories: animals. Science and technology. I'm, I'm telling them so that they can review in these categories, yes. but let's be honest. This is way too much knowledge to really <laughs> review all this. But anyway, animals, science and technology, history and government. Think about the people you work with. Think about the people you might be considering for your team. Which of these categories are they knowledgeable in? Arts and entertainment, geography, year in review. Hmm. I guess we'll get the, what is the book that comes out every year um, that... Uh, that tells everything that happened or you watch the the yeah. last day of the year where yeah. they do everything that and there's went always on. there's always a couple of websites <laughs> yes. that kind of you know this is what happened this year these are the celebrities that died this year this yes. is the uh, headlines from the year that kind of thing check those things out you got a category on food oh mm -hmm. foodies here's your chance to show off sports yeah, there's always like a gazillion guys oh, that yes. think they know every sports history question on oh, yes. the planet. That's probably so. a difficult uh, one. I didn't do the categories, I, sports I categories, but I bet whoever did that you had to really. The only thing I would something. know would be cardinal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't follow basketball or football or any of that uh -huh. kind of thing. Um, but you've got people that do. You yes. know people. You know those guys and gals that are into every sport on the planet. And, you know? and in the category. Those are the ones you want on your team. Yes. And it's not just only the final questions, tiebreakers, are Missouri. The right, rest of them right. are uh -huh. everywhere. So, uh, yeah, there you go. This is going to be fun. Oh, yes. Sounds like a great time. Tell you what, we need to take a quick break. Okay. We'll be right back to talk more about the Poplar Bluff Academic Assistance Group and their trivia night coming up on Friday, January 23rd. It's going to be a fun night, and it's your chance to make sure that our students, our high school students, have as much opportunity as they possibly can. That's what this group is about. So stick around for more details right after this. 
on today's talk, KWOC 930 AM and 93.3 FM.
And welcome back to Brittany on the Bluff, brought to you by Key Drugs, Whitworth's Gift Chest Jewelers, First Community Bank, and Today's Computers in Poplar Bluff. We've been talking with the president of the Academic Assistance Group here in Poplar Bluff, Donna Lassiter, uh, and we've been uh, uh, having a great time getting to know each other a little bit here. Yes. <laughs> Donna's working hard on this. Uh, it's her first year as president. Yes. of the academic assistance group. So it's been kind of a learning experience for you too, it hasn't has it? It has been. My second year on the committee and then... I would be nervous being called president of anything that has the word academic in the title. Um, <laughs> well, I just facilitate. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of keep it organized is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm one of those, I, I don't think I'm a dumb person, but no. I don't consider myself an academic either. <laughs> no. <laughs> but this is going to be a lot of fun. Trivia night, uh, 150 Fifty dollars yes. per team, uh, up to six players on your team, uh, four to six. Yes. You, you want to kind of, you know, in my opinion, it only makes sense to get six if you can. Oh, I would. Yes. Does so that, that, that's <laughs> just a couple more minds that you're pulling this information from yes, when you're looking is. for the answers. So, try to get six of your smartest friends together. Uh, maybe uh, a team from your, like I say, your Sunday school class or uh, where you work or just a group of friends or a family. Yes. How much fun would this be oh, for a family be. to put together a team oh, yeah. and come be a part of this? And it is very family-oriented yes, in the is. fact that mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have uh, pizza and snacks and, you know, all kinds of goodies to munch on while you're playing. You'll yes. have probably sodas, waters, yes. that kind of thing to drink. No alcoholic beverages. It is at a school, guys. <laughs> we don't want them yes. bringing in booze into our school now, <laughs> especially our fifth and sixth grade center. <laughs> Come on. So, but, you know, get that team together and mark your calendar. It's January 23rd. That's a Friday night. Go ahead and mark your calendar so you don't accidentally schedule something else that day because you, you're going to want to be a part of this. Now, once we've got our team together, um, who do we need to contact to get, uh, to get registered? Yes, if you want to register early, you can uh, call the high school okay. and uh, talk to the counselor's office, the okay. Papa Bluff High School counselor's office. There are, everyone in there is familiar with it. Okay, so uh, basically Tam whoever answers you yes, can, in the can take your information. Area. Now, okay. Tamara Day is our counselor who is the representative on on the committee, uh -huh. as well as uh, a, Tina Wilkins is another counselor who is on the committee. Uh, so if you have specific questions, now if you just want to get your name um, on the list so that we get numbers of the teams who are participating, you can just let them know in the counselor's office. Now we do have um, any of our committee members would be able to give you information if you need it. Okay. Or I can. Uh, I would be glad to bring if someone wants me to drop off. A brochure to their office that they want to be a part of it I'll be glad to drop that off okay uh, to them and then they if they want to register early or they can contact um, it, it, like I said, the best thing is just to either contact me or go through the counselor's office. That way, everything is in one place. Yeah, that makes and, sense. And uh, but as, if we just you get your keep name, keep it organized, don't yes, you? Yes, but if you, we get your name, and uh, then you can either forward the funds to the school uh, in the care of the the AAG, or if you want to get your name on the list and then okay. bring the money that night is fine as well. And uh, a quick reminder, we're going to have some of those brochures here at our studios, yes. uh, 1015 West Pine Street in the foyer. If you uh, would like to stop by and pick up one of those, you don't even have to talk to us if you don't want right. to. <laughs> Just run in, grab it, and you're out the door. Um, but we'll have those available that has uh, the contact information. It tells the different categories that they're yes. going to be playing, kind of explains what Trivia Night's all about. Uh, what the academic assistance group is about, that yes. sort of thing. So uh, you can stop by here and grab that, too, to get all that information as well. Because, like I say, if you're driving, we don't want you trying to write down a phone number right <laughs> now. You can get it off the, the brochure, I promise. Yes, just remember uh, Friday, January the 23rd. And, again, the money that you pay to be a part of this is going to go to very real, very concrete experiences, uh, supplies, whatever's needed, basically, by our high school teachers. Um, and they don't limit it to just the math teachers or just the science teachers. This, it could be somebody uh, teaching art or music or uh, something uh, a little a little more fluffy, I guess you could yes. call it. Yes, when because you're talking they about, have, you know. Uh, uh, you know, when they have visited the 
Holocaust Museum. Now that is, uh, or the Dred Scott Museum in St. Louis. Oh yeah. You know, those are very serious um, educational exactly. trips. But then you go on a fun trip um, to, if you're going to Alabama to the coast. I mean, how beautiful is that? Uh, but then you're Not learning as well. Not much more beautiful, I'll tell you that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are always like, "Oh, it's so neat." I said, "Honey, I'm from down there. I know about Dolphin yes. Island. Trust me." <laughs> Because they're always trying to tell me all the details. I know it's beautiful, sweetie. I know. I've been there. Well, maybe you can, uh, uh, next time they need a sponsor, you can hey, go with there them. You, go. you could. Uh, I'm a great chaperone. Be a part of the, yes. Great be a chaperone part of that. here. <laughs> but and yeah, just some really neat um, experiences. And like we were saying earlier, for those of you that are just tuning in, the money that's raised from this goes to let our students have some, some new experiences in life, to broaden their horizons, to try new things. Yes, and it expands the classroom. Yeah. Um, and our kids spend, they spend all day in the classroom. And our teachers do a wonderful do job trying to, um, not entertain, that's not the right word, but uh, to make it interesting yeah. to all different types of students. Uh, you know, everyone learns in a different way. Exactly. So this only adds to the teacher's hard work in the classroom to expand uh, each of the kids outside the classroom. Well, you know, it's kind of one of those deals. Uh, young people, they they love to dream. They have dreams, yes. you know. And it seems like um, up until a certain point in life, their dreams may be, you know, to be a sports hero or mm -hmm. uh, be a, a professional singer or a dancer or an actress or an actor. You uh, know, the these big dreams glamour. that, that <laughs> there's only really, I mean, honestly, there's only a few people that are good enough to become a professional sports right. figure. I mean, you can dream till the cows come home. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not meaning to, it no. sounds like I'm being defeatist. It's not that. It's just if they don't try other things, then how are they going to know what they really want to do with their lives? Yes, and the academic side is important no matter what dream or job that you exactly. have. You know, you the know? education can never be taken away from you. Regardless so if true. you, you yeah. are able to uh, be on stage or be a singer or play sports or be the president of a company, um, those jobs change as the years go on. Yeah, but absolutely. your education is always there, and you always build on your education. Every time you learn something new, it's, it's a part of your education, and yeah. that lasts forever. And, you know, in, in today's world, um, a lot of schools have had to cut back on so many different things. Ours is really no exception. Right. And we've been very lucky, I think, that uh, we haven't seen those cutbacks in music and theater and, you know, some of the more um, uh, liberal arts kinds of, of fields just to focus on the academics. Our right. kids still do get a lot of, of different do. kinds of uh, classes. It's limited and as that they kind of thing. get into high school. It's more limited uh, because they just have to have a certain credit, right. number of credits right. in each right. of them. But um, in the, our school, this, the Popper Bluff has supported the schools in their growth. Um, but there's just so much money that's available right. that way. And so this, this really a, does open some doors yes. um, for, the, for the teachers to let our students tr try these things. Yes. To go to a play in St. Louis, to go to a museum. I love museums. Oh, Huge. yeah. Huge. Mm -hmm. Huge museum <laughs> junkie. I, I, I just love, I go to I like to go to St. Joseph, Missouri, just because there's like nine museums in oh, St. Wow. Joe. I've never been there. <laughs> in this I'll one just, little I'll town, there's, like a ton of, there's all kinds of. I love museums. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if it wasn't for groups like the Academic Assistance Program, those kids probably would never get to go right. to those museums. They probably wouldn't get to take these trips. The Dolphin Island thing, which is such a great experience mm -hmm. for so many kids probably wouldn't happen and they have to there's just not the money for right it. and in their classroom they work hard to learn before they go there right and it extends um, the learning yes. experience doesn't it and even within the graduation center the books that are provided um, some of the curriculum that is added to the software that's added to our computers um, that prepares them before they even go to Dolphin Island or go to the Holocaust Museum to already be knowledgeable and realize they do know things and can right. and further that learning. I mean, you think about it, uh, taking a, a French class and having that software in order to improve their, their speaking and reading and learning yes. of the French language and stuff. That kid 
maybe working in France someday. Yes. Oh, yes, or with a company you that know? maybe are trading with. Uh, yeah. Needs, and it, there is amazing. It, Even within our hospital systems, they have people who, um, they have to be bilingual or mm -hmm. to help the other patients who come in. So foreign languages are everywhere. And they're becoming they, so. more and more important as, mm -hmm. as the world gets smaller and smaller. Yes. You know, it's not uncommon for a young person to go to work for a company that does business in four or five different nations around the world. That's right. That's not mm -hmm. uncommon anymore. Mm -hmm. And so to have that little extra skill, that little extra boost could be the key to that person's success yes. in their work life someday. And within their history you class. You just don't know. That's the thing. They learn about everything yeah. that's happened in our world and, and geography. And it, one builds on the other. And... Um, and that's what our committee does, yeah. is it supports the classroom and the, the teachers and the students who are there, and uh, it, it helps. And we have a great committee. Um, the committee, uh, I have a list of the, the people who are on our committee, and they do a great job. They they really all think volunteers. about, they're all volunteers. Just and giving they, their own time mm -hmm. to help our kids. Yes, and they think about how it's going to benefit all of them. All the That's students awesome. that are there. Well, we've just got a, a few minutes left. Are, are, are there some people that you want to give some kudos to? Well, or, I'll be sure to mention um, our, any sponsors our committee. sponsors you want to mention or anything? Um, well, our sponsors, we we do it as a committee. Okay. And uh, so the sponsors are people who come to the trivia night. I got you. That makes <laughs> so sense. So that's... Be that's, a sponsor of the yes. event. Participate. <laughs> Whether it's, a, as you said, a family or just a group of friends that get together, those are our sponsors. Okay. That's who contributes. But our committee uh, there at the high school is uh, Danielle Berry, Janine Bradley, Sandy Burns, Kim Caps, Michelle Dugas, Martha Magrider Dye, Charlie Harper, who is our teacher representative, Kathy Langley, Tanya McIntosh, Subrat Mishra, Wade Pierce, Caprina Summers, and Tina Wilkins, who is a counselor, and Tamara Day, who is a counselor at the high school. So we have a very diversified group. Yeah, it sounds like and it. And a very committed group. And uh -huh. they're all excited about the committee and what we can do to help all the students there at the high school. $150 is all it's going to cost yes. for your whole team. So get the team together, split the costs, maybe get your boss to sponsor your team, whatever the case may be. Call, get your team registered. Yes. And uh, and then start brushing up on the old tree. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. This is one of those... You know, some trivia nights you can go and you don't, you just have fun. and just Wing it, yeah, yes. Yeah, just kind of <laughs> wing it kind of thing. But this one, you want to win this one, you're going to have to show off some serious knowledge. Yes. Because they are going into some depth on some categories that, uh, I mean, science and technology, holy cow. Right. And it changes so much yeah, uh, that's, every year. That could so. be about anything practically. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, history and government. Get somebody that uh, has a, a lot of knowledge in these areas on your team. Up to six people. Yes. $150. And, and all of the money goes towards um, the academic assistance group. Yes. And the different projects that they're helping support through the grant process here at the Poplar Bluff High School. You got kids in high school, you definitely need to be a part of this. Because it's going to allow your kids to do more. If you've got kids in junior high and elementary on their way up to high school... You better get involved. You better get involved because we want your kids to have as many experiences as possible to get the best education possible. And uh, your group is actually helping make that possible. So great job, guys. Oh, thank you. Seriously, it's, it's a good keep it up because um, I just think this is, this is an organization whose time has come. Oh, yes. It's, you know, it's, it's been very, we are 25 years, wow. and I think back to the person in the group that started it. They have really, um, I want them to know that we are continuing to work just like they did yeah. 25 years ago. Gosh, That's think the, about all the things that wouldn't have happened mm -hmm. over the past 25 years mm -hmm. if it hadn't been for this organization. And it's touched a lot of different places on campus. I'm sure. Um, I've only named a few, but over the years, a lot, 
um, a lot of classrooms have been helped. A lot of students have been helped. <coughs> I have no doubt about that. January 23rd, it's a Friday night. Mark your calendar. It'll be taking place at the 5th and 6th grade center. Doors open at 6 with the trivia starting at 6.30. Again, there'll be food and there'll be uh, soft drinks and water and that sort of thing. So you can kick back, have a great evening. Uh, and make sure you get people on your team that you can have a fun night with. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess winning's not everything. You definitely want some you people do you don't mind fun. hanging out with that night. That's but, right. Um, a very uh, family-friendly kind of an atmosphere, so you yes. don't have to worry about uh, being exposed to anything that you know you don't want to be around and that sort of thing. <laughs> it's not like that. So um, going to be a whole lot of fun, guys. Again, brochures will be right here at our studios at 1015 Pine. West Pine Street, um, stop by and grab one of those, and that way you've got all the information you need. You can take that brochure, show somebody, hey, look, I want us to do this. That's right. Kind of we'll thing. be a part. Take it with you, and and, and, uh, and and then you can go, okay, now I'm going to focus on this category and this one. <laughs> oh, that's You're a good idea. this, this, and this. A very good idea. Getting ready for this thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm just serious about this. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> January 23rd at the 5th and 6th grade center right here in Poplar Bluff. A great organization, the Poplar Bluff High School Academic Assistance Group. Um, again, just keep up the good work. Thank you. Keep Thank up the you. good work because I can see where uh, there's probably people listening right now from other schools that don't have something like this that are going, maybe we should maybe start need a group. something. Yes. Maybe we should get involved in this. Come to the trivia night, and there'll be people there that you can ask questions. Yes. About starting getting that in an their academic school, assistance group or something mm -hmm. like that. I think probably every school needs that right now. Yes, and the the academic letters that are awarded, that is very important to those students. They it worked is. very hard yeah. in the classroom, and their parents it's supporting just that them. That acknowledgement. Yes. You know, we know you worked hard. Yes. You deserve this. And some of them have, they are able to wear them if they get a uh, the Letterman jacket uh -huh. or sweater or whatever they wear. Uh, some people have them framed uh, nicely to, to oh, add to. I didn't to. think about that. That'd be cool, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. It like in a shadow box kind of thing. Yes. And you can put your Because you add your additional. Yeah. Because a lot of the nice. students also get uh, sports letters. So they would be on their, they would have their academic letter and their sports and all the different things that they can letter in at the high school. Now, that's and pretty good. they get their chevrons each year as they add to you yeah. and as they go down their sleeve if they're on a on a jacket. But it's uh, they're really nice. Ah, oh, the letterman jacket. <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah, uh, okay. I remember that. <laughs> Donna, thank you so much. Thank you, Brittany. It's uh, been for a nice coming morning. in. Thank and you. good luck with your reign as president. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Of the Academic Assistance Group. If you'd like to make a donation, you can get in touch with some of these folks. That information, uh, contact information for that as well in that brochure that we'll have here at the studios. Yes, or the counselor's office at the Poplar at the High, High School. School. Thank you again, Donna. Thank you. Have fun with it, guys. It's going to be a great night. That's it for Brittany on the Bluff for today. We'll do it again tomorrow right here on today's Talk KWOC, 9.30 a.m. and 93.3 FM. With you online on your device and on